are we? I have no idea. I'm Luke. I'm Frank. And this is another episode of Whiskey Bible. Today we got something very interesting going on here. What is going on? My glass is empty. What's going on here? Well, we got a bunch of new whiskey to fill it up pretty soon. Mmm. This is exciting. I've been waiting for this day for quite a while. Three months to the day, um, I put Buffalo Trace White Dog Weeded Mash into this one liter barrel here. Um, unfortunately, I wanted to make it age a lot longer, but the Angel Share is totally ridiculous. Um, I used four bottles, four 375s, so um, that's two 750s. If I get more than two bottles out of this, this is going to be insane. I would be surprised. Yeah. Um, so me and Frank have actually tested this on the one month mark for the past three months. And the first month was, it tasted a lot like White Dog, a lot of corn. Um, the second month, a lot more oak and it was really starting to round out better. So I'm really hoping that this, this time, we haven't tasted it yet, the three month. Um, hopefully it comes out really cool and it looks... Kind of like this guy right here. This is a Weller Special Reserve, but this is kind of what we're hoping to go for. It's probably not going to be as good, but that's what we're going for. Yeah, so far, just trying to peek inside a little and see the color looks pretty good. And the last time, one month really made a big difference. So I think we're just hoping to get as much of what we can and just cross our fingers that we get something nice. Yeah. So I'm going to pull this top airflow smell that it's just like oak like extreme oak yeah all right I'm gonna put that in there and hopefully this works right all right i hope it doesn't like all spill all over the place we'll see all live this is all I mean, live you can't really redo this nope this is all live we have no idea what this is going to look like it might come out looking clear like this but hopefully not. I don't think it will. I think from last time, we should get some good color on it. Open the floodgates. Alright. It's going. Ooh, that's really great in the bottle looking there. It falling down. You can't really tell as much. This is exciting. That's actually pretty good. So we're going to do this bottle right here. This is going to be barrel proof straight from the barrel. Um, next bottle, we're going to proof it down a little more. We actually have a hydrometer with us, so we're going to test the proof on this sucker. Now, you know what I kind of want to do? Let's, let's get a bit of a color comparison on that. Side by side action here. That's, Im that's impressive. That's really cool. Can I just... Go ahead, take it. This one is a little lighter, the one that we made, but it's it's really hard to tell. I don't even know. Yeah, that could be it as well. Just how thick that it is. All right, here we go. Bottle number two. I don't know. About that. There it goes. This is exciting. Uh-oh. That was almost bad. There's something with <laughs> the airflow. There's something about the airflow. Don't worry, everybody. I'm watching this. No whiskey was harmed in this making of this it's video. It's filling again. I think we'll be alright. I think we're alright this time. See it bubbling? I think we should be fine. I think we might get more than two bottles. Yeah, I really am surprised that it's still keeping up. Knock on wood. I know, right? As soon as I say that, it'll slow down. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that's going to come up on camera, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I know, that was cool. I'm like, did it stop or did it keep going? <laughs> like a laminar flow. It's like, perfect. That was cool. Bottle number two. 
Um, wanna... Put that separate from that because I want the first bottle. Yeah, make sure that cork's on there good all the way down. <laughs> he popped. He pops right back out. I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Is it making smoke? Look. Is it? Oh, it is a little. Look at that. I, there's no way. I'm concerned for our health. This no. is going to be high proof. This is going to be like 190 proof. Well, what do you think it is? You think there's just too much in the bottle, maybe? Maybe there, maybe I, there's, think I, so. I think it's creating compression. I think that's what it is. So let's pour a little bit. Let's see if I can get enough. I doubt it, but we'll see. What's your plan if that bottle fills up? Um, then we drink the rest straight from the barrel, like a keg stand. Nice. Hold on, I don't think we're gonna get there. I think that's it. Oh boy. She's empty. Two and a half. That's way more than I thought we were gonna get. Oh, yeah. All right. That's exciting. Well, then this one can be our proof down. We can do a half a bottle of proof down. What do you think? Yeah, it's got the space for it anyway. Yep. Now, for the science-y part of things. Science time. That's this guy here. We're going to test the proof of this lovely alcohol in front of us. And we take the thingy, put in another thingy, and it tells us the proof. Sounds about right to me. It's probably good. Just drop her in slowly. We don't want to We don't want our breaker. Yay! I don't know how we get it out. Oh, we got it. That's a problem for another day. 55, 56. It looks to me about 57%. So what is that? 114. 114. Wow. Full proof bourbon. Why'd we even measure it? I know. <laughs> it just stays the same. That's, funny. That's interesting. 114 proof. Mark that down on your calendar. Hopefully we don't break anything here. What do you want to proof it down to? We'll uh, use some Acadia natural spring water. I'll do like 55 proof. 55 proof? <laughs> I'm just joking. Holy with cow. You. What is this? <laughs> I like a real light bourbon. Um. Well, what do you think? Do you want to get it down to 90? Match with Weller. If you... This is 92. Yeah, so somewhere, somewhere in that range. Looks like it's between 46 and 47. So that's like 92 to 94 proof. I would call it 93. 93. Blanton's. 93 proof. I wish I had tags. Remember that number. 93 proof. Homemade. Well, home aged, not homemade. Home aged. We're not illegal. Let's start with the lower proof first. All right. All right. We can do it tomorrow, though, right? Because tonight's my dry night. No, I can't. <laughs> I was be like, you can do it tomorrow. I'll give you a little bottle to take home with you. So, all right. Here we go. It is time. First, we're going to start with our 93 proof Buffalo Trace Weeded Mash Bill. That did look like that. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, we'll post some pictures at the end. Like a little slideshow action. We'll take a bunch of pictures. But um, there's a huge difference there. So This is non-chill filtered. And this is a single barrel. That's pretty cool. We just made Weller single barrel. Right away on the nose. Oak. Oak, sweet vanillas. Yeah, it is, it is a lot of oak, and I still get the corn, mm -hmm. but now I'm getting a bit more vanilla. Maybe a bit of cherry mixed in with the corn. Like, mm. it's a very sweet corn. Oh, yeah. So. Huh? I've been waiting for so long for this moment. Cheers. That is not bad. No, it really isn't. Wow. 
That's only three months in that barrel from regular white dog to that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of vanillas on the palate. A little bit of corn. Oak, but like it's a it's an it's like an oak I've never had before. I'm just assuming that's the barrel company we use. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like a sweet oak, but like a smoky oak. It's like a sweet smoky oak. Yeah, there's a lot of hmm. little tiny weirdnesses with the, with the oak. I got a little bit of a chocolate on the oak. Hmm. Notice how it's not dry, though. Like, I'm not getting a dry back end. Like, I feel like with a lot of bourbons and whiskeys, I get a really dry finish on my palate. Yeah. Um, this, to me, the finish is uh, lacking a little bit. Um, it gets in the middle of the palate and it kind of fades out. I'm just wondering if that's just because we just proofed it down. It might just be, you know, if it's a lower proof. But this is, it's really interesting. It shows a lot how much the time in the barrel does, I think, to actually add flavor that we're getting different oaks and vanillas and just these tiny little flavor notes that you certainly wouldn't get from just the white dog. I really wish that the angels didn't like whiskey. <laughs> I really wish that the angels were in, um, in double A meetings and did not drink alcoholic beverages because the angels stole so much whiskey from me. Um, Right, a bottle I would, and a half. I wish I could have aged this longer. I wish I could have went six months. But look, I lost a bottle and a half. But six months. Theoretically, that's all I would have been left. And to me, I'd rather have something that tastes a little, um, little off and have more than to have something that tastes good and have less. All right. Final, final, last, final sip of final, the 90. Final, final sip of the 93. Then to foolproof. Ding! <laughs> as well as that. Should, did you sip yet? Should we just go back to... Yeah, here. Cheers. Don't make whiskey come out my nose. Mm. Third sip was more oaky than the second. That sip, I actually got a little bit of development. Mm. Like, it started out corn, then it was sweet vanilla, and dare I say, a bit of caramel. The the last member of our whiskey trifecta, the only three notes in whiskey. Yeah. The third <laughs> being the one I ended on, which was oak. I mean, they're the best notes, they're the most prominent, so those will be the ones that stand out. That yeah. was actually, that was a really good sip. Maybe getting into this foolproof, maybe, you know. Yeah, right? Foolproof, you'd think you'd get more flavor. So. I'm just crossing my fingers that it's not more corn flavor. Uh, we will find out. Alright, let's do it. Right. Foolproof, 114 proof. That's um almost 90, 3. It is, it's 21 proof points higher. And this guy right here. This is like the mm. Buckeye Lightning. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know why it smokes like that. It's interesting. I'm getting more corn on the nose. In a good way! <laughs> <laughs> huh. I don't know. I've... I feel like the corn is getting covered up by proof for me. A little bit of stinginess. And I'm definitely getting more proof on the nose. And I'm still getting the corn, but it feels less... I actually feel like it's less corn. Mm. Maybe a little more oak. <sighs> Only the taste will tell. Not, not, a, not a crazy nose on these. I think because we went from White Dog and it, it really hasn't been aged that much we're still getting a lot of flavors from the original white dog mm -hmm. yeah like i said if you left this in here another three months i could see a significant difference i'm hoping for that i'm hoping that right there 
because to me this is this is like a one year to one and a half year age whiskey i'm hoping if i put this in here for three months um i might even do four for that because i'm not that right if you could get it. an extra year on buffalo trace you could get close to eagle rare yep that would be exciting all right enough about the eagles they lost the super bowl You know, still very smooth. Yeah. To me, I actually like that one better. I was thinking the same thing. I can't tell if it's just my palate getting adjusted. I'm looking at him for... Th I, I want the satisfaction it... of, yes, you did a good job. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Yay. This is a... It is a lot more flavor, and it's not more corn flavor. I felt like I was actually starting to get maybe some fruits sneaking in mm -hmm. there. A little cherry, cherry at the beginning and a little citrus on the finish. Tiny bit of apple in there, I feel. I could see that. Tiny bit of apple. I'm not getting you know. Smell it. Chocolate leather oak. And corn. I get the leather. Which is weird, because leather, I feel, only comes out from an extra-aged whiskey. I can get the leather. Like a leather shoe. Ooh, I got a lot of flavor on that one. Yeah, the finish on this one, the proof comes in a little. It, there's a little bit of a sting, but there's definitely a lot more flavor to the point where I, th I think it's very worth it. I'm getting this really, like, chocolate coffee on the finish I can see coffee now that you say that I'm like totally getting coffee as a coffee drinker I can totally see coffee um, I'd say still vanilla still oak lots of oak um, coffee now that he said that big time that's like all I can really say now it's just coffee <laughs> it's funny uh, maybe a little bit of hazelnut. I don't know if I'm getting that mm. with the coffee. Some There's some kind of nut in there, however, it's not peanut. I would almost say maybe like an almond, like a little almondy note. Yeah, I see what you're getting there. It's what a very, that was actually a pretty, pretty long lasting finish. I still got it. If I curl my tongue back a little bit, definitely getting almonds. Okay. All right, well, we got a um, few more things to do in this video, so I'm going to leave this glass while we're doing this. This yeah, is all sure. you, buddy. We did decide to fill it back up with Buffalo Trace. This is a 175 bottle of Buffalo Trace. And uh, Sir Frank is going to be my filler over here. Um, you know, I got to fill this first. Steady barrel. hands. Steady hands. Um, slow hands. That song. Um, but I filled this bottle with this white dog, so I'm going to pour it out. He's going to fill this with the Buffalo Trace, and he's going to pour it next time. We're going to kind of come back and do a... Um, like a time lapse frame of how it's coming along. Yeah, I think maybe this time, as we go through the months and taste it, we might do a short video just kind of saying, you know, show it off, show the, the change in color over time, and just make a little series out of it. Yeah. Um, basically, what I'm going for and what I'm hoping for is that aging this Buffalo Trace a little more might come out a little bit like Eagle Rare. I know it's probably not going to, but I figure this is age six to eight years. Eagle Rare is at least ten years, so if we can just get like another year's worth of age, you know, three months. All right, brand new bottle of Buffalo Trace One Seven Five. Look at the size of that monstrosity. It's all you, buddy. All Here right. we go. Don't spill a drop. A lot more than a drop if you see Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Everyone's like, oh my god, you're wasting such good whiskey. You're uh, wasting We're making it. it better. We're making it better. This is for your entertainment. We are losing some. Stronger, faster, more delicious. Uh, Six million dollar bourbon. Smells very good in here now. Oh, <laughs> Say, you want? Nice and slow. I hold. 
All right, it's full. It's very full. All right. We officially have Buffalo Trace aging in a barrel right now. Um, four months from now is when? I don't April, know. May, June, July. 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 Fourth of July. July 29th. Yeah. Um, this will be ready July 29th. Um, we can do a monthly update. See how it's going. I think it should be interesting. Yeah. I'm Luke. I'm Frank. And please, everybody, thank you for watching. And remember, at all costs... Stay in school. I was hoping that was going to ring a little better, but it didn't. Stay in school! Stay in school. Tell them. On the count of three. <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. Stay, Stay in school. school.